Hey everybody, it's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. <music> Guys, well, of course, you see me sport a new do. So I... I know y'all don't know me that well because I've only been doing this really almost, it's not even been a year that I've been doing the YouTube channel. And um, <clears throat> I get bored with my hair very quickly and I am fortunate my hair grows fast. So no warning. I just was like, the ends of my hair seemed a little straggly. And I was just bored. And so I told my guy, you know, I'm ready for something. So I I don't know what picture he showed me. He knows a couple things. I hate shag. Don't even don't even say that word around me. And um I'm I'm not a fan of any of the uh styles of the 60s and the 70s, which is when I grew up. <laughs> you think I had a terrible childhood. I just don't like it. I was all absorbed in the 50s or the 40s. I love the styles of then. But anyway, so this is actually not the picture he showed me, but it's the way he styled it. And it's very versatile. Um, but what I feel, love about it is it is healthy feeling now. And yeah, he added a lot of, he goes, are you, do you not like, is it drab? Is it um, not shiny enough, is it? And I'm like, all of the above, just fix it. <laughs> so thank you to my sweet stylist, Caleb, at The Hive, if you live in Ozark, because um, I'm enjoying it. My husband's like, his first words out of his mouth when he saw me, because of course this was not expected or planned, is your hair is so much lighter. I said it is, because I really didn't notice that. Um, I don't know. I just think it's fun. And I haven't, this is just left over from yesterday. I haven't done anything to it yet. Slept on it, fluffed it. I love to be able to do that. We're in the pool a lot right now and the lake. And I have hair that just, it can't just left, be left dry, at least the way it was. It just frizzes out and looks awful. At this cut, I have enough curl that I might be able to just scrunch it up and have like beach waves afterwards. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, and apologies for not being here for the past week. I have to just tell you two things. When I'm gone, it's usually technical, which that last video took me, I think, a week to upload. I don't know what was going on there. I'm hoping I'm not going to have the same problem with this one. And secondly, then we had company. And when we have company, I've told you, it's always, you know, I'm absorbed with my family or my friends. We're either going to be entertaining, cooking, playing games, doing the tourism things that you do around here. Um, and a couple of fun things. Oh my gosh. I, like, if you don't like this, just fast forward. But I... Uh, Started a couple new hobbies um, a couple weeks ago. I guess it's been two weeks. My husband and I took a pickleball clinic at a local park with a really good teacher who's highly ranked and, you know, endorsed. And her husband was there. He's also endorsed by, I think I pulled out my, they were talking about paddles and why you choose a certain kind and weight. And then I pull mine out. And I'm like, I choose mine because of the way it looks. You guys, I mean, if you're a decorator, you're always a decorator. So I have Margaritaville paddles, but her husband goes, oh, by head, I, um, they're one of my sponsors. Anyway, we played pickleball every other day that week. We had our first date night with friends in the neighborhood. It was such fun. Went over to their house, had some drinks, sat outside. They gave us a tour of their house. Oh, I hope so. at some point she'll let me give you a tour of her house. She has, a, I guess, a modern form, farmhouse. Took my breath away. I just love it. I am going to work on her and see if I can get you guys in. Okay, and then um, what else did we do? Last week, my husband's birthday, we did uh, fly fishing school. 
Now he's been fly fishing for years. He's fly fished with my dad when he was alive. And I just regret that I never tried it, but I, I don't know what's come over me. I just want to try things. And so I had fly fishing school and I loved it. And it happened to be a woman who taught and she was Orvis certified. If you're familiar with that brand and, um, she was a great teacher. She was very down to earth. And she told me I was very good at casting. She said it took her 10 years to become a good caster, but nobody had really taught her. She was just kind of learning it. I mean, it was before YouTube, right? So years and years ago, because she's been at this for years. So anyway, um, we had two days of that. So I've just ordered my own waders and my own water boots and just some other little things. So we're going to start that too. Okay. So now what's today about? Couple things. We're going to do this room and I'm going to talk about something I've been telling you. I was so excited to share. I've kind of discovered when I started doing all the, um, British West Indies style downstairs, you know, it incorporates a lot of blue and white. And I had looked at, it's always good to look at what you pin if you're on Pinterest. Um, and about, a, I don't know, a year or so ago, I had started, I discovered some stuff that was like, well, I never say it right, but it's, it is considered, hmm, shenazari. Shenazari? Um, I was unfamiliar with that until I saw it. And I am not a big fan of Asian decor, but this is not. It's it's really, it's um, replicas and then they incorporate other colors and things and it kind of gets mixed in with um, other types of European or I don't know, I, even colorful decor. So I'm gonna insert a few pictures while I talk, but some of them that I saw um, ha have incorporated a lot of hot pink um, and the greens, which I love. You know, those are my two favorite color combinations, but they also do a lot of blue and white. And so I was also considering that somebody, one of you guys that watch, I hope they still watch, I don't know who it was anymore, had said, I think your style is Palm Beach. And I thought, Palm Beach. I never even heard of Palm Beach style. Like I didn't know it was a thing. So I started kind of looking at that too. And it's like, yeah, yeah, because I see a lot of Lily Pulitzer, which you tell, I've told you inspires me. And that artwork that I showed you a few weeks ago in that hall, you can see it is, I love color. I love bright. I love happy. And I just was very excited to realize that all of these styles kind of mesh together. My British West Indies has the blue and white. It has a lot of fun um, pops of coastal and gold in it. Um, plus you play with some ornate woods or some brightly painted furniture. And then you go into the Palm Beach style and you're getting um, brightly colored things that have a coastal flair and they have a lot of reference if they don't actually have wicker or bamboo, it's painted wicker to bamboo. And then Shanasari also can go into that bright, it has the blue and white, but yes, some of the th themes are, um, you know, I don't even know if they're really all that oriental, some of them. Uh, I'm looking at a pattern right now that has palm trees on it, monkeys. You know, it's just, it's just fun and interesting. So I finally found like the things I love and my room is uh, so plain. I know you can see out there. So if you couldn't see out there, it would look so plain. It is just your basic. Yeah, we've got some color on the wall, but otherwise I've got very neutral furniture. If I wanted to pull off a white room, you know, it wouldn't be all that tough to do, but that's not my style. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the things I bought um, in the past, I don't know, six months or so. 
I've been holding this in, waiting to show you, and um, well, let's go. One of the easiest ways, I've always said this, to bring in a decor style, and up until now in my family room, I've just been following the holidays, and I wasn't really doing any real decor. We had nothing on the walls other than our mirror, and so um, right before Memorial Day, I just went for it. And I was inspired by some peel and stick paper I saw on somebody's channel. And I apologize because I don't know who it was. It's nobody that I've watched regularly. And I, even if I subscribed, I must not have pressed the all. I just don't get enough notifications to know who it was. If, if when you see this pattern, you know who it is, put it in the comments below so I can go back and follow her because I really enjoyed it. But what she did was she put um, some peel and stick. I believe it was in the back of a bookcase. And I really, really loved it. Okay, here's the pattern. It is whimsical. Uh, the color is gorgeous. And... I can get it on Amazon and I can get a lot of things. So I got pillow covers. I got towels. I believe I could have also gotten the peel and stick paper, but I chose after looking at it, I chose to get regular wallpaper. So this is, um, even though I was able to buy this on Amazon, this is um, a product of Spoonflower, which is pretty much where I've gotten every wallpaper except my laundry room wallpaper. I love, love, love Spoonflower. Now, wait till you see the combination I put this with. So all three of the styles I mentioned, whether it's British Colonial or British West Indies, I kind of use those terms um, interchangeable, um, or Palm Beach, or Shinasari, Shinasari, I can't say it right. Anyway, regardless, they use animal print. Um, in the British West Indies style, it's usually true, like if it's zebra, it's really zebra, black and white. In the Palm Beach style or Shinasari, it would be Shinasari. <laughs> it would be uh, fine if it wasn't. And in this case, it's not. I love this. This is very soft. I don't, it's almost like a really, really fine corduroy or something. I mean, I, I'm calling it corduroy just because I see a ridge in it, but it's it's not. It's not corduroy, it's not velvet, but it's something soft like the two. And again, I got these on Amazon. So I'm gonna pop these little pillows in. I don't have any blankets. I thought for summer I didn't need them, but that's not true because when we curl up to watch TV in here in the evening, I still like to cover up with something. And I happen to have a couple souvenir Mackinac Island um, blankets. So I've been kind of grabbing those. But let me pop these on. See what you think? Next, I'm gonna just do some pictures. So um, and th these pictures are not new. I bought them maybe three years ago. 
uh, for the house that we lived in for about two years. It was when I bought um, that piece right there. And this was in our foyer and we had a really long entryway, uh, nice and wide. And I was, as I've told you in the past, I was kind of going vacation home coastal there. I found four pictures at Home Goods. Oh, my ring light there. That's probably the best I can do to show you of coral. And I loved it. I, I wasn't, I, I love the color. It wasn't, it's not a color I usually use, but we painted our walls a, a, a gray. I don't know if it was quite this um, deep of a hue. Um, but anyway, I had four and we broke one in the moves. There's not a lot of things we broke, but that was one thing. And so I would have loved to have put two pictures over each other on either side of that mirror and widen that. But unfortunately, because we broke it, I can't. And if I ever find something that I love, and there's four of them, I will do that. But I'm going to hang these two up. Okay, and I mean, I'm not upset with the look of this. Uh, I just think it would have had more of an impact if it was two on each side. So where are we gonna put the third one? Well, we had a choice of right there, right there. And right there, really, that was it. So we're going to hang it right here. So we made sure that these are all hanging at the same height, I think. I feel like since I hung them all, I feel like this one's a little taller, but if it is, it's, it's not that noticeable. Okay, so the next thing, oh, so that's kind of, now I've meshed, I'm kind of showing you how I'm meshing. So that was more of the British colonial style that I've added. Now, I don't even know what I'm putting in, but I'm gonna show you what's next. So I bought these last spring and they were in a spring haul. And I'm pretty sure I got them at Home Goods. Pretty sure I did, yeah, because somebody said, oh, I went and got them. They have a crystal clear circular base, then this you know, I don't even know what it's supposed to represent. A nod to bamboo, maybe. I don't know, but it's gold. And then this gorgeous Capiza shell shade. Now the top was gold. But here's where you can have fun with details. So I bought... I think these are matching. Well, they're hand painted. So um, I bought these finials um, by Googling Shinazari at uh, Amazon. I think they were around, I'm going to say $32. So I'm, I'm going to tell you maybe $16, but I think they were $32. Um, there's a variety of styles and prices. You could get uh, gold, solid gold ones that have more of a um, oriental like symbol or maybe it's even a word I don't know but I really I wanted to kind of enhance my blue and white it's so subtle the gold might have been a better choice it really might have in the end but 
This is what I did. When I bought these, I bought them for this table. But with all the decor I had been putting up, I had not been able to make it work. So when I set a lamp like this, I could put this over here to the side, um, but I like to try to incorporate things almost on top of each other to a point where it adjoins them. So that's kind of the goal here. And it, so it's linking both the frame of the mirror and the picture without covering either one. Okay, I'm gonna plug them in. I think that's so pretty. And there you have it. As I've said in the past, I really don't have a lot of space to do much on my television. It's very, very narrow, and the TV's so low that if I put something there, it could block. I have just a little spot on either side, or I can put it down underneath. And so uh, the, while these are topiaries would be considered a lot of things, you could call this definitely French country, it's always going to be a traditional uh, topiary of boxwood would work well in traditional. But topiaries are very popular in chenazerie. Next, I'm gonna do my coffee table. And I'm gonna start with this tray, which I bought in my spring haul. Most of you have seen it before, and I don't know if it's been on this table or not. I've been changing things without you guys around for a while, so I don't know. But I'm gonna put it on at an angle, and then I'm gonna fill it up and decorate. So I picked up, a package of three of the, I forget what it's called actually, I'll have to look it up, um, the pattern. And it came in three different sizes or subjects. So this is a small version, much tighter, small version of my pillows, the full print. This one is, let me open it up all the way. So I'm not sure I see the umbrellas on it. Yeah, that one doesn't have the umbrellas on it at all. It does have the monkeys, but no umbrellas. And then the last one is just the monkeys. Well, I've got it here, there you go. The monkeys and the umbrellas. So I, these are dirty. I was using these in my bath, my powder room. <clears throat> this one we're gonna put in here to kind of tie it all together. So I know I wanted some candles over here. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on and I could have used some wooden ones I'm sure but I decided to keep it a little less cluttered looking by using these clear glass ones and then my candles it was something I already had all of these are the only thing new that you've seen so far that was new new for this space were the pillow covers and the little towel everything else wasn't so I don't know these are um 
I don't know if these are Pier 1. What does it say? Oh, these are Hobby Lobby. So these are, you know, recent in the last year or so. Love the color. I love that it's, it's pulling in a green, but a muted green. So this is one of the bowls that I had picked up at, um, actually, yeah, Pier 1. However, I have linked some similar on Amazon. And then I just filled it with some found seashells or else purchased ones. I don't know. But I got, you know, nice, chunky variety of color. And I'm going to set that in here. I did need some coasters and I may have, I feel like I already showed these in a haul. Um, they're marble, they're decently thick, they're edged in gold. They have little divots in the edges where they've painted the gold in. And they come in a set of four. Oh, and they have little pads underneath. So I feel like they're just really, they're elegant. They go with almost any decor. So because everything's fitting in here, because look at how tall that is. That's probably a good three inches. So, you know, here you go. You can't see the bowl and you can't see the coasters from down. Um, so I really, the next thing I wanted in here, I needed a riser of some kind. And I really don't have any, I don't have a lot of risers to begin with. So I do use books and I use books that I already own because I am an avid reader and I'll just have to figure this out. <laughs> so I want to put a, I wanted some greenery in here. So I'm going to put a plant on that. I have, I think, three to choose from. So we'll see which one you think looks great. Here are my three choices. Um... I'm not sure. I feel like that one was one I got at Walmart, but I could be wrong. So that's a very plasticky boxwood. This one's a boxwood that's blooming, and it's in a uh, beautiful, more of a French country style. I don't recall where I got that one either. And then this one is, even though it looks really, really fake, this is real boxwood. So this is like some of them I've shown you before that you're um, supposed to spritz with water. Um, and then this is in a Chenasserie vase. So I'm going to try each one. You guys can kind of tell me. I don't know. I've had this set up for a while. So, um, okay, there's that one. We'll call that one. Two, and three. Honestly, I really like them all myself. I did not have this one in here because I felt like that's too much of the blue all concentrated into one spot, and I want to get some of that over there. So right now I'm pulling this one. I'm going to look at this one again. This is not the one I had in here. However, I'm really loving the uh, nod it gives to the same color of the basket. I really do like that. But let me check the one that I had in there. You know what? I feel like that's almost too tall. The green against that green is not making me feel happy. And so I am going to change what I actually had in there to begin with. And I'm going to go with number two. I feel like um, the height of this works because this is just a little bit lower than my candles. And it doesn't draw, it draws attention to the green. 
and not to the vase, even though you can still see all the vase in there. Love it. Right off the bat, I know which ball I like best, but which ball goes best in here? And because it's kind of the thing, when you're decorating and you're concentrating on one spot, that spot gets all the best stuff. So originally, I don't know what was in here, but this is getting decorated last. So the best stuff's gonna go in here. And which one would you guys choose? I will hold this over here, like so. Or this over here. I've already made my decision, but because of the depth of this and the height of that uh, book, I need a riser and I don't have one. However, I just went for a search in my kitchen. You're not gonna believe what this is. These are creme brulees that you can buy um, at Costco, and that's glass. So when you're done, you wash them out, and they're beautiful little dishes. You can use them for serving, or in this case, I'm actually going to use it as a riser, but I'm going to leave the mouth open because it'll hold the ball versus the ball being on top of here and moving around. That is just the height I wanted. And I'm gonna move you just a tad. And because it's clear, I can't even see it. So I'm I'm liking that. So there's my little tray. What oh no, I'm missing one more thing. I forgot my brass snuffer and as these are real candles I do want to have that there no I think I want it like this okay so there's that part of the table I think it looks good and then as most often I complement it with my coffee table book which is the collected cottage um, I've shown it to you many times. It is available on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. It's everything from uh, collect, well, here's collecting, from uh, recipes and gardening, uh, entertaining and decor. And I just find it to be... <sighs> a never ending source of inspiration. So I have that there and then I am popping a shell on top. And there we have the coffee table flanked by the chinoiserie pillows. What do you think guys? Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the inspiration, the fusion of the three decors that I was talking about and the direction I'm going in my home, at least in some of these main living areas. And as we get to some of the others, you know, it may not be the same. I can't help myself. I like other things too. And next time when you join me, we are going to decorate the console where I put the lamps. And that just takes a lot of time. Uh, it's, it's a lot of detail over there and it's three shelves worth. So um, we'll work on that then. I am very excited to tell you that uh, Amazon Prime Days are the 11th and 12th, which is coming up really quick. But right now they already have some of their early bird deals. And so always you're welcome to shop at my storefront, which is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash your home, your happy place, which is always linked below. And there you'll find the different categories. Um, so if you're already interested in some of the videos I've put out in those links, um, most of them are in there and you can check and see if any of that, uh, those items are on sale. Um, check it out and see if there's something. I do disclose that I am an Amazon influencer associate. I do earn a commission when you click on my links. It is pennies. And for an example, I'm just going to disclose that last month I made a whole $16. So <laughs> it's um, 
it's nothing I'm making a lot of money at, but I do it because I really want you guys to have access to the things that I'm showing you when I do a video. And it's just easier. It's so much easier for you to click a link versus going and shopping for it yourself. You know how you can get lost and you'll never even find the product. So come to my storefront often and it will always be expanding. I thank you for joining me again. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, would you consider subscribing? You're gonna enjoy some more decorating this summer. I'm gonna do my beach book soon and before summer's over for sure and give you an honest review of some of those books. So I'll see you soon. Bye.